Wave step-by-step -step for our summer series. My name's Katie and I'm here in Batavia, Illinois. We're gonna ring the doorbell of Miss Shirley and we're gonna help her out with her brand new house because she wants some color for her front yard. So follow along with us and let's see what Shirley has to say. I don't know if you want to come on out and uh, tell us about your home. Good sure. to meet you, Katie. <laughs> Thank you for coming out. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about your space. So you're recently moved here and yes. they kind of gave you builder grade landscape. That's Absolutely. very typical. Um, so you have some beautiful foundation plantings going on right now. It's early summer, but I heard you want some color. I do. I like color. Yeah. What are your favorite colors? My favorite colors, number one is red. Number two is purple, mm -hmm. and then the third color is yellow. Yellow. Oh, that's very welcoming. So yeah. we're going to do our best here at Wave to make sure that you can brighten up your space and okay. show you how easy it is to maintain and really make an impact in your neighborhood. Ooh, I'm um, excited. <laughs> so we've got a couple planters here. I see. Okay. We're going to do some fun, welcoming color in the planters because Easy Wave will do really great spilling out of here. Okay. Maybe a couple tall elements. Yes. Sounds that's good. What I was about. Yeah, a little heights, right? Yes, some heights. Some heights. Maybe yeah. make it a welcoming something space. around the heights. Oh, yeah. And I've got like a lot it. of green, but these are flowering onions and they're going to be purple when they Yay. bloom. Nice. So Didn't we, know that. we could complement those in okay. uh, this negative space here with some white, some of the violets, I okay. think will be great. Um, definitely the red. We've got a red velour. It has okay. a little bit of a velvety texture. Okay. I think that'd be really great to, to see in your garden, too. Okay. Um, have they told you anything about this space? Obviously, you've got a nice full sun location. I do. Lots of sun. Lots of so sun. I didn't, you know, you don't know what to do with a lot of sun since I'm not a gardener. Mm -hmm. Just, I'm, I'm trying to learn. Learn to be a gardener. That's <laughs> I'm perfect. I'm trying to learn. Yeah. And then we talked about um, water access. So yes. you have a hose or you have maybe a... Um, uh, sprinkler yeah i do i have a long hose i have a connection in the garage and actually i have one uh, you know, uh, an attachment that i can put on the sprinkler too okay. to, to to water perfect yeah because in the summertime you're definitely going to need to make sure your plants are hydrated okay make okay. them look their best and do their okay. best okay okay so all right so i think next step is you and i are going to maybe look at your soil and see what's going on underneath okay. the ground here yeah i want it probably dry and <laughs> i don't know yeah we'll figure it out i don't know okay <laughs> You, you you know all about this. I don't know. It just it looks like it needs something. It does. It, it does. Needs. And I think Wade can definitely fill that space for okay. you. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm here kind of digging the dirt with Shirley's um, newly planted bed in the front of her house. Just want to make sure what kind of consistency her soil is. And this is very important, especially with new construction. Sometimes they only give you a little few inches of good soil. And the rest is a lot of construction debris. So I'm going to dig in and kind of see what the consistency of her soil is. All right. So there's a little bit more clay than I was hoping for, but nothing too horrible. But you can see when you kind of clump it together, it stays that way. That's not the best soil for roots for the best plants. So what that means is when we go shopping, we're going to make sure that we bring in some good potting soil or garden soil to really amend these beds so that the wave roots can spread and trail and do their best. Next step with Shirley is going to measure how wide her bed is so we know how many plants we need to get and how much soil we need to purchase. So Shirley, if you can stand there. Okay. And then I'll, it goes about 60 inches, about five feet here. So okay. there, and I'll have you move here. And another move. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's six times three, 60 times three. So we've got plenty of space for you to have beautiful wave petunias. Okay. And then deep wide, let's go back. Okay. Right there. And we got about 60 inches back. So the foundation of your plant. That measurement will help us know how about how many plants and how to spread them apart. Okay, all right. Excellent. That is excellent. I love it. <laughs> 
I see a lot of potential in this space. Even though you have a little bit more shade, I can tell that you entertain back here. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. still would like a little color here as well. Yes. I, yeah, I think you can definitely put a couple um, containers on your patio so when you come out at night, you can have something to really enjoy. Oh. And it's low maintenance and it's easy to water by hand. But I do, I am mean, holding your sprinkler system as well. Okay. So you have a nice long hose that will reach to the front of the yard. Yes, okay. yes, and reach all the way to the front. Perfect. Then you can just set this this um, sprinkler on uh, for a couple hours or an hour or so, and mm -hmm. then you water your new space. Okay. Um, and then if you ever notice anything gets dry, you can water by hand to see if they need a little bit more moisture. Okay. But this is a great set it and forget it opportunity, too, to make sure your plants get the moisture they need. So you're all Sounds set. good. I'm good. All <laughs> right. I'm glad I got that little apparatus. Yeah, you are ready. <laughs> I'm trying to get ready. <laughs> Standing here with Shirley, we're on. Um, going to recap what we talked about. Um, we know Shirley wants some color. Yeah. We know Shirley wants um, to kind of brighten up this greenery space with her favorite colors. Um, we know that your soil is not the best at the moment, but we're gonna we're gonna give some amendments for that. Okay. We have plenty of opportunity to water and maintain, so you're all set there. And we're gonna bring a little color to your back space as well. Yes. Yeah. So we took some measurements. Mm -hmm. I think we've got, we're going to take some pictures. Okay. We've got a good idea of how Wave can really make this space a very custom, mm -hmm. fun um, space for you and your guests. Okay. And I think by, in another couple days, we'll stop by again and check in with you and see if you're okay with our plan. And then we'll go shopping. Oh, that sounds good. good. Okay. That's <laughs> loving it. So loving you're on board with Wave, kind of giving you a little makeover Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Okay. Where's... I am excited about Wave making you want to make over. Okay, perfect. This needs help. This... <laughs> Yes, we can definitely make it a better space for you. Okay. So awesome. happy to work with you. <laughs> Thank you Thanks so much. much. Yes. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Now, so stay tuned for more with Shirley and her transformation. Oh.